Have you ever pondered the mystery of the Aztec Empire, its rise to power and its eventual downfall, or perhaps wondered about the descendants of this powerful civilization? In the beginning, the Aztec Empire, known also as the Triple Alliance, was not a singular entity, but rather an amalgamation of different tribes, with the Mexica tribe being the most influential. Guided by the orders of their leader, Huitzilopochtli, the Mexica entered the Valley of Mexico in the 13th century, marking the beginning of the Aztec era. As the Aztec Empire's influence grew, so did its enemies. In the year 1521, with the aid of local groups who yearned for liberation from Aztec rule, the Spanish managed to conquer Tenochtitlan, signaling the end of the Aztec Empire. But the story doesn't end there. The bloodline of the Aztecs lives on, with many descendants residing in Mexico today. Turning our attention to the present, let's explore the state of Chiapas, Mexico's southernmost region. Home to the heart of the ancient Mayan world, Chiapas is a land enriched by the preservation of ancient cultures, traditions and customs. Following the leadership of Catholic priest Matias Antonio de Cordoba, Chiapas declared independence from Spain in 1821 and joined Mexico in 1824. The ethnic distribution in Chiapas paints a complex picture, with the largest indigenous groups being the Tzotzil, Tzeltal, Chol, Zoc, Toalabal, Canjobal and Meme. These groups and their dynamic, ever-changing cultures contribute to the rich tapestry of Chiapas. Broadening the perspective, we find that the indigenous peoples of the Americas are incredibly diverse, with some groups practicing traditional agriculture and aquaculture, while others were historically hunter-gatherers. Many regions boast pre-contact monumental architecture, large-scale organized cities, city-states, chiefdoms, states, kingdoms, republics, confederacies and empires. These societies possessed varying degrees of knowledge in engineering, architecture, mathematics, astronomy, writing, physics, medicine, planting and irrigation, geology, mining, metallurgy, sculpture and goldsmithing. Today, indigenous peoples still populate many parts of the Americas with significant populations in Bolivia, Canada, Chile, Ecuador, Guatemala, Mexico, Peru and the United States. At least a thousand different indigenous languages are spoken in the Americas. Some of these languages, including Quechua, Arawak, Aymara, Guarani, Mayan and Nahuatl, have speakers in the millions. Whether in rural or urban communities, many indigenous peoples maintain aspects of their cultural practices, evolving over time to meet modern needs while preserving traditional customs. Some indigenous peoples live in relative isolation from Western culture, and a few are still counted as uncontacted peoples. Indigenous peoples from the Americas have also formed diaspora communities outside the Western Hemisphere. In conclusion, the history of the Aztec Empire is a tale of power, conquest and resilience. From their rise in the 13th century to their downfall in the 16th century, the Aztecs left an indelible mark on history. Their descendants, along with other indigenous groups, continue to enrich the cultural tapestry of the Americas with their traditions, languages and customs. The story of the Aztecs, like the story of all civilizations, is a testament to the enduring power of human spirit and the constant evolution of cultures.